Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for hitting that play button. If you're brand new to the community uh, and you like Corvettes and you like cars in general, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button, that little bell button right next to it. That way you will be notified each and every time I put up a video. Secondly, guys, if you watched the last video, you know that we finally got to 10,000 family members. Very excited. Thanks, guys, for all of the comments. I appreciate it. And so you know that over the next 10 videos, I'm going to be giving away 10 of these Under Armour Corvette shirts. As a matter of fact, this week's winner is Wes Gonzalez. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how I pick, or I don't pick, but the computer picks the winners of these shirts or any giveaway that I do. I have a program called TubeBuddy that most YouTubers have. It just helps with a lot of different processes, and one of them is picking a winner for a video. And all I have to do is pull up the particular video that I want to choose, that I want to have a drawing on, and all I have to do is click on the on the TubeBuddy icon. It brings up a lot of different things I can do with that video. One of them being pick a winner. So I've got a giveaway. All I do is press it and voila, there's the winner. So Wes Gonzalez, you are the winner of the very first Corvette Under Armour shirt. Are you kidding me? All you need to do is down in the description below is my email. Send me uh, an email. I'll get the information from you, find out where I need to send it, and we'll get this back out to you. Guys, a couple of things that I've done to the car since the last video, which you guys may have may not noticed in the car itself. First thing, guys, is my Max 360. Of course, you guys probably seen that cord in the past that was kind of down here sitting, plugged in here like so many of us do. But I went ahead and direct wired it into, I don't know how well you're going to be able to be able to even see this, but basically direct wired this into the power for the review mirror and the lights that are here. If you have an, a uh, Max 360, this bracket here, this mounting bracket along with this wire that you would need as well as the Max 360, if you don't have it, is all linked below. Also right underneath those two where it says camera gear and it's or, or my Corvette. I think it says my Corvette stuff. But underneath that, you will also find a little video link that will take you to a video that uh, someone else made that shows you perfectly how to do this. And okay, the next thing that I put in was this uh, magnetic mount here. This right here, you can actually, I've got it kind of torqued down, but when you put it on there, you can move it up. You can this little guy right here, that magnet, you can just take it and stick it right there and you're ready to go. Now, matter of fact, let's just turn the car on so you can kind of see how all this works here. Guys, I'm definitely not a proponent of anyone ever texting and driving. And kind of really the only reason I'm even showing you this is because, you know, we all need to have our phones where we can at least see it because if something happens, we need to be notified of something. But what is great about the C7 and a lot of the a lot of the, the sports cars now being made is that I know in mine we have the Apple um, uh, Apple CarPlay, and Apple CarPlay allows you to sync your phone with your car. Now that this is all set up, you know I have my phone right here, Apple CarPlay's here. And so if I'm driving down the road and my wife calls or one of my sons texts me, I don't have to worry about messing with my phone at all, but I do get the notification here. I can go right here and hit the speech icon and I can reply to there. I can call them directly if I need to by pressing this, calling them hands-free. I can also send a hands, I can send a hands-free text message. Um, so again, I recommend that everybody have somewhere again it just has a little magnet on the back this is also linked below so if you want to get one of these you can mount it anywhere it doesn't any kind of sports car it's just it's got a small footprint as you can see it's really small and it's kind of just out of the way it's put on by 3m tape i think it works perfect now for what gm needs to change gm if anybody is watching this please please make this change and that change has to do with 
this almost useless. The change has to do with this. This is almost useless. It's got a little deal in here that you're supposed to be able to move around and you know put different size things in here. I only put things in here like bottled water because if you have a cup, you're gonna you're gonna spill stuff. We got to do better than this, GM. We got to do better than this. So come up with you know something that locks and doesn't move once you set it because these things right here have a tendency to just move around too way too much. It just this has to be changed. Other than that, love this car. Let's just go ahead and fire up the music and check out these cars. Here I am again, floating through the silence in my cold skin. Guys, that's today's video. Again, I want to thank you for stopping by and spending just a few moments with me. You know, I've been trying to do my very best on making my videos, reducing them down to about 10 minutes. Uh, and then anything above that, definitely sharing you guys' car. Uh, if you have a car and you'd like to share it with everybody, I do it at the end of all my videos. My email is in the description below. So send me a picture, a small clip. It's always cool. Some guys will send me a clip of their exhaust. 
Um, some, some guys will send me a clip of them, you know, they just bought their car, they're driving it off. But if you have a small clip and you wanna share it with everybody, definitely send that in. As until I see you at the next video. I hope each and every one of you guys have a blessed week. And now, let's check out some of your beautiful rides. And I didn't understand that you